Hi, I'm Shay Truen and I'm the Collections Leader at the Nelson Provincial Museum. Today, we're going to talk about objects that were designed to keep us warm in bed. Being cold in bed was not just a comfort issue, but it was once a serious health risk, especially before the introduction of antibiotics and contemporary medicine. Blankets, quilts and duvets are the easiest way to stay warm in bed. These women are making eiderdowns. Traditionally, eiderdown was made with duck feather, but these women are using sheep wool from the bale located in the front of the room. Duvets could also be stuffed with straw or other types of down, sometimes even newspaper, anything to keep warm. This 19th century bed warmer is made with two copper pans that are attached to a long handle. The long handle was necessary because the pan would be filled with hot coals or embers, which needed to be carried away from the body and anything combustible, like clothing. The pan was placed between the bed sheets. Sometimes, if it was too hot, the sheets could ignite, making this bed warmer a serious safety hazard in the home. Hot water bottles, or hotties, were a safer alternative for warming the bed, but the cork stoppers or the ceramic screw-on lids were prone to leaks, which could burn the user and soak the bed. Early hot water bottles could be made out of glass and metal, but the ceramic bottles were the most common and affordable. This bottle was a popular design made in New Zealand by Tamuka Potteries in South Canterbury. Rubber hot water bottles, like the ones we use today, developed in the 19th century but became more popular in the 20th. Rubber hot water bottles were much lighter than the ceramic ones, so they were easier to carry, especially when they were full and hot. Rubber hot water bottles can still cause contact burns, so they still must be used with some caution. As we all know, hot water bottles eventually get cold. And although some makers experimented with placing electrodes inside the ceramic bottles to provide heat all night, they were eventually surpassed by the invention of the electric blanket in the 1940s. In the 1960s, Zip wholesalers in Nelson started to make electric blankets. The factory was located in Annersbrook and employed a large female workforce. They claimed that one electric blanket provided the same amount of warmth as four eiderdowns. Electric blankets went through their own evolution in terms of safety and comfort, but they remain today one of the most popular ways to stay warm in bed all night. So get those hot water bottles out, crank up your electric blanket and stay warm and safe this winter.